What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings addict. Coming back at you with my Monday's main DraftKings slate picks. All right, guys. So today's uh, Monday slate is a juicy one, man. We have seven games. Got a couple of good good games, guys. Detroit and Cleveland should be a pretty explosive game. Miami Phoenix could be good. You know, you got Boston and Chicago. Now that Memphis and San Antonio game is going to be a disaster, guys, you know. I won't be touching it except for maybe value plays because, you know, I expect that game to be a disaster. You got Orlando and Utah. Then you got Portland and L.A. Lakers. That's another juice one. We're going to have to get us a couple of late night hammers for that game, guys. So, all right, so let's go ahead and – uh. Let's pop it off and get these picks going, guys. So uh, first and foremost, guys, I want to go off and uh, let's talk about my, my my top play. You know, the guy we're going to pay up for, at least the one I'm paying up for. That's LeBron James, guys, the old boogie. I got to put him in my in my lineup, guys. So look at this guy. I don't think he's going under 50 in, like, forever. You know, since the whole trade and reconstruction went down, guys. This guy's doing a little bit of everything, scoring, he's assisting, he's rebounding. Shit, he's almost a triple-double. Every night. So, you know, hey, man, at 11.7, I know that's that's a steep price. But it's LeBron James versus Detroit. And, again, his usage is ridiculous, man. This guy is all over the place, and he's he's so much a part of the offense. So, I got LeBron James locked in, guys. Playing up for my man. Got to do it. Don't even think about it. All right? Who else you going to pay for, guys? Who, Giannis? Lillard? Lillard going to get you uh, 70? I doubt it, you know. But, hey, I like LeBron James in this matchup, guys. So, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. All right, next play, guys, going uh, and back to that same game. Um, I like Larry Nance Jr. I'm expecting him to get the start. Keep eye on the news, but um, he should get the start. Um, with Tristan Thompson on the shelf, you know, he's out uh, for a little while now. He has some issues. So, um, if you look at this uh, matchup, Detroit, um, Larry Nance has played against him before, and in 27 minutes he put up. Double-double, man. 14 and 12, guys. All right, so he should be getting the start. And, again, you look at he's averaging around 25 DK points already, which is almost um, 6X, guys. And so he's going to be starting, which means he should have more minutes. And I like Larry Nance Jr. in this matchup, also with uh, Jeff Green out as well. So that's two big men that are out, which should mean more minutes for Larry Nance Jr. Like him in, value play, easy money. All right, guys, stand in that game because, again, I love, this, I love this game. Blake Griffin, man, he's 7,900. He's too cheap for this guy. This guy's an all-star. You know what I'm saying? He had a little rough patch where he wasn't playing that well. But if you look at the last two games versus Orlando and Miami, he's, he's back to the old Blake, man. You know, he's taking 20 field goals. You know, he's getting rebounds. He got assists. You know, he's a part of the offense, guys. So, hey, man, I like Blake Griffin in his bounce-back spot, guys. Last time he played Cleveland, he played the whole game almost. And put up a nice little double double, twenty three and twelve. So with a couple of steals. So I like Blake Griffin in this game versus Cleveland. Should be a very competitive game, and should be a high scoring game. So lock in uh, Blake Griffin on the other side of that game, there, guys. All right. So let's go away from this game for a second and, and uh, go with our late night ham hammer. Uh, like Isaiah Thomas playing against Portland, he's pretty much the second team, guys. You know. High usage, taking a lot of shots. And if you look at him, he's playing about 27 to 30 minutes over the last couple of games. Um, and he's played 18 minutes versus Portland before, put up 22. So, you know, if he put up, if he plays 29, 30 minutes, you know, IT should at least easily hit 35, 40 DK points. So, hopefully the shot is on because, you know, he's a scoring dependent player, but he gets, you know, a few assists here and there and a couple of rebounds every now and then. So, uh, but I like Isaiah Thomas, man. He's been pretty, pretty good the last couple of couple of games, you know, lock them in. So that's four plays. Another play I like, guys. I'm going back to that, to that uh, Cleveland game again, guys. But shooting guard versus Cleveland, man. It's always easy money, guys. So if you look at this guy, Bullock, he's playing 30-plus minutes over the last couple of games. He had a – this game right here was a blowout, so he only played 25. But, again, I expect this game to be close, be competitive, a knockdown, drag-out fight. And if you look at the history, three games versus this team, he played 22 minutes and put up 24 DK points. So if my man's playing 30 minutes, I expect him to hit 30 points, which is, you know, it's great for value 
or with, with a little bit of upside too, because again, it's versus Cleveland. So, like Reggie Bullock for a value pay. All right, guys. So that's my top five plays, guys. There's some other plays that I like. So let me talk about those in case you know. Hey, you don't like the plays on the board? These are my favorite plays. I would have these guys in the majority of my lineups. But let's talk about some other plays that I like, guys. So Goran Dragic going against Phoenix. I like him. Um, again, if you look at his history versus this team, you know he played 38 minutes, put up 46 DK points, a 29 and 10, with 10 rebounds. So I like Goran Dragic. Also, another another player that's been hot lately that I, that I like. Maybe for tournaments, it's Elf Payton, you know, versus Miami. Again, if you look at his last couple of games, my man is at 50 points, you know. Got a nice little double-double, triple-double right here. As a matter of fact, he got ejected that last game. <laughs> so, uh, I like Elf, Elf Payton too, guys. So, another player I like, uh, Kyrie Irving versus Chicago. The last ranked team when it comes to DVP versus the uh, point guard. Look at this, guys. 27 freaking minutes, and my man put up 45 DK points. Came in, slayed them boys, and, and sat down, man. So, hey, if you want to take a chance, maybe in GPPs, you know, that would be a good one. Uh, Kyrie Irving, guys. All right. Another player I like, guys. Uh, again, um, let's go with uh, Ravishing Rick Rubio. I like him as well, guys. At 6,500 versus Orlando. You want to attack them at the point guard position. You know, so you see 16 minutes. Play he uh play and put up twenty uh minute twenty uh DK points. So if he plays thirty four minutes, guys it should be easy to lock for for thirty five forty DK points, man. Again versus Orlando, up pace team, um, but they in Utah, which is always a difficult thing. So hey, again I would stick him with uh, strictly GPP. I'm not sure I would play him in cash. All right, all right. So uh, who else, guys? Of course you know Drummond is always in play versus. Cleveland, again, is going to be up against Larry Nance. So, Drummond should be able to drop you an easy, quick 50-burger, man. Look at the last game. He put 58 points up versus Miami. All right, but again, this is a plus matchup for Drummond playing against Cleveland with no Tristan Thompson, no Jeff Green. All right. Well, Depot's in a nice spot versus Milwaukee, but again, I wouldn't play him just because he's 9K. I can't play that price. The price is too damn high. All right. All right, guys, so that's some of the plays I like, guys. Some value plays that you can look at, guys, if you're trying to fit in some some studs. is a uh, Theus. Daniel Theus has been doing pretty good last couple of games, 20 minutes or so on average, putting up 25 to 36 DK points at 3.7K. That's a pretty nice matchup or a pretty nice price point. And if this game blows off, blows out, Theus should get some good runs. So that's another good value play. Another one I like is uh, Patty Mills in that San Antonio-Memphis game. Again, there. They're short of point guards and shooting guards, and they short every damn thing. And if you look at Patty Mills' numbers, he's been playing consistent minutes lately, around 30 minutes, and uh, putting up around 25 to 30 DK points. And at a 4.46, that's a pretty nice number. Again, he his minutes look solid, but it is pop, guys. So, you know, hey, you could get popped. All right, going back to that that uh, Cleveland game, I like this guy here who's uh, backing up um, uh, Ish Smith, who I hate. He's burned me twice. He, you know, he's made the list. <laughs> so, but again, this guy, 3.4K, you know, he's playing, uh, you know, consistent 20 minutes over the last few games, putting up around 15 to 25 DK points, which is not bad for a guy for 3.4K, you know. So, again, hopefully he can get some good run. Because, uh, again, I personally don't like Schmidt, but, hey, whatever works. All right, so bikes. All right, another uh, value play that's been playing good lately is this Jeff Ennis guy. You know, I don't know if he took over and pretty much took all of Stanley Johnson's minutes. But if you look at Stanley Johnson's uh, record, you know, he's played pretty well versus uh, Cleveland and put up some good points versus him. But, you know, hey, James Ennis or either Stanley Johnson. Because, again, let me show you guys Johnson. So you look at Stanley Johnson's record versus Cleveland, three games, 32 minutes, 31 DK points. All right. But if you look at this, this game log, he has been playing 30 minutes. And he hasn't been putting up a, a lot of shots. So. Not sure what's going on with Stanley Johnson, guys. But, uh, hey, one of those two guys could have a good game versus Cleveland, and that's a nice nice value play on both sides. So, all right, guys. Oh, I almost got one more guy, too. Jay Brown in that, in that uh, Boston-Chicago game. All right. So, if you look at his matchup, he's played two games versus his team, averaged 27 minutes, and put up an average of 30 DK points, man. So, again, Jalen Brown's a nice, nice option. Versus Chicago. All right. So, 
All right, guys. So that's what I like right now, guys. It's early. Anything can happen tomorrow. Any kind of news can come out. Somebody can be be uh, ruled out, and it can change the whole scheme and the whole way that you want to attack this slate. So keep out on the news. Follow me on Twitter, at DraftKings Attic. Like the video. If you enjoy the content, subscribe, share it. I'm trying to get my subscriber count up. All right, guys, so let me know if you like, like the new uh, format where I, I pick my top five plays, but then also tell you about some other guys I like that are in a, a good good position. Let me know in the comments, guys, and let me know how you're doing, guys. You know, hey, are y'all using the plays? Are you, are you cashing? How, how, how are you guys doing? So how let me in the comments, guys. Good luck. See you all tomorrow.